My name is Joseph Colley. I'm 94 years old, born in 1925. I'm from all over North Carolina, born in Concord, and then I uh, was here in Durham for three years. I'd heard Duke on the radio several times, but never had seen him. I uh, did go to the Rose Bowl, which was here in January 1st, 42. And that was my first game seeing Duke. Less than a month earlier, Japanese forces had launched an attack on Pearl Harbor, killing 2,400 Americans. One day later, the United States officially entered World War II. Concerned about further attacks, the Rose Bowl game between Oregon State and Duke would move from Pasadena, California to Durham, North Carolina. We know the Japanese had, had submarines off the west coast and of course they could fire cannons or whatever. So Wallace Wade, the coach here, offered to have it placed in Durham, and that's why it came to Durham. I just remember it was really packed. I had never, you know, I'd never been to anything that large. Capacity was like 34,000 then, but they had 55,000 people here for that game. I think Duke was favored. Unfortunately, the score was 20 to 16. I just remember it being a, a, a great game, something I would never forget. With the nation at war, Joseph Colley, like thousands of young Americans, felt a duty to serve his country and join the military. I was 18 in, in Ju late June, and I volunteered for the draft, and I got in on the 15th of September. I ended up in the infantry in the 100th Division in late October. We were the first division to arrive in Marseille and went on the line in November, and we didn't get off and, you know, if we were on the line 181 days. We got off in uh, April, of, almost the 30th, and we were in Stuttgart, Germany. And we, in fact, we took Stuttgart, Germany. After the war, Colley used the Army GI Bill to start the next chapter of his life. In 1946, I started up at Virginia Tech in chemical engineering for which I owe that school a, a, a lot of gratitude. My first real uh, involvement with Duke football or basketball was when I moved here in 1958. And then I had season tickets to both. From his seats, Colley has seen hundreds of memorable moments in Duke sports history, including one in 2005 against his alma mater. The 2005 game against Virginia Tech here I couldn't believe that Virginia Tech was leading right at the end. I think there was two seconds to go. I don't know who threw the pass, but it went straight to John Dockery, who was at mid-court. Mid and he turned around and flipped that ball, and it went right through the net. I have never seen anything like that. McRoberts looking, throws it to mid-court. Dockery dribbles, shoots, scores! John Dockery has hit a mid-court jumper! to win this ballgame. Whether it's Cameron Indoor or Wallace Wade Stadium, in victory or defeat, one constant for Duke Athletics remains, Joseph Colley, 61 years and counting. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.